What if I told you that while tech companies are laying off thousands of software developers, cybersecurity analyst jobs are growing 29% through 2034. I'm talking about median salaries of 124,000 a year, jobs that AI cannot do, positions where the government is literally begging people to apply because they cannot find enough qualified workers. And here's the part that nobody's talking about. You can get NSA certified training for $330 per credit hour. That's $39,600 total for a bachelor's degree that gives you access to six-figure salaries and federal security clearance jobs. By the end of this video, you're going to know exactly whether cybersecurity is worth it in 2025, what the real job market looks like, and the exact path to break into this field, even if you have zero tech experience right now. I've spent the last two weeks analyzing Bureau of Labor Statistics data, NSA accreditation standards, and real salary reports from thousands of cybersecurity professionals. Here's what the data shows. While 72% of mobile developer jobs have disappeared since ChatGPT launched, cybersecurity jobs are exploding. 29% job growth through 2034. That's nearly triple the national average for all occupations. The cybersecurity workforce gap is now over 700,000 open positions in the United States alone. Companies cannot find enough qualified people. But here's the reality check. Not all cybersecurity programs are created equal, and not all of them will actually get you hired. The National Security Agency and Department of Homeland Security only designate certain programs as centers of academic excellence in cyber defense. That designation matters in a lot. Employers see that NSA certification and they know you've been trained to national standards. You've learned the frameworks that they use. You understand the compliance requirements they need. So let me show you exactly what cybersecurity plays, what the job actually involves, and whether this is the right career path for you. Let's talk about the money first because that's what most people actually care about entry level reality information security analysts that's the entry level cybersecurity role earn a median salary of $124,000 per year, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. But here's the breakdown by experience level. Entry level, $70,000 to $90,000 annually. That's your first job out of school with a degree and maybe one certification. Mid-level, $100,000 to $140,000, two to five years of experience. So you've got a Security Plus, maybe a CYSA Plus, or a CEH certification. Senior level, $150,000 to 200,000 plus five to 10 years of experience. You're managing teams. You've got a CISSP certification. You're making strategic security decisions. But here's what the salary surveys don't show you. Location arbitrage. Cybersecurity analyst making over 124,000 in San Francisco has the same buying power as someone making 70,000 in Dallas or Charlotte. Many of these jobs are fully remote. Specialized roles pay even more. Penetration testers, Ethical hackers who test company security earn 90000 to 160000 a year. Security architects who design entire security systems, 140000 to 220000 Chief information security officers, the top cybersecurity executive, earn 200000 to 500000 plus at large companies. Federal and defense contractors. Here's something that most people don't know. Federal cybersecurity jobs come with security clearances, and those clearances are worth an additional 10000 to 20000 in annual salary. Defense contractors like Lockheed Martin, Raytheon, and Northrop Grumman, they all need cybersecurity professionals with security clearances, and those jobs pay 110000 to 180000 for mid-level positions. The money is real. The jobs are real. The question is, how do you actually break into this field? Here's where most people make a critical mistake. They pick a cybersecurity program based on price or convenience, not on whether it will actually get them hired. What NSA certification means. The National Security Agency and Department of Homeland Security designate certain university programs as centers of academic excellence in cyber defense. The CAE dash CD for short. This means the curriculum meets national standards for cyber defense education. It aligns with the National Initiative for Cybersecurity Education Framework, and it covers the cybersecurity workforce framework that federal agencies use. When you graduate from an NSA certified program, employers know what you've learned. Network defense and incident response, secure system design and risk management, 
ethical hacking and adversarial banking, cyber risk analysis, and legal compliance frameworks, Southern New Hampshire University, SNHU's Bachelor of Science in Cybersecurity is NSACAE CD designated. That puts it in the same category as programs at Purdue University, Kennesaw State University, Maryville University. Programs that cost fifty thousand to eighty thousand, but SNHU charges three hundred thirty per credit hour. That's thirty nine thousand six hundred total for one hundred and twenty credits. Here's what makes SNHU different. First, it's a hundred percent online. You can work full time while getting your degree, and you never have to relocate, and you never have to quit your current job. Second. They accept up to 90 transfer credits. That includes military experience, work experience, and certifications like the CompTIA, A+, or the Security+. Plus. If you transfer in 90 credits, you only need 30 credits at SNHU. That's 9,900 for an NSA certified cybersecurity degree. Third, SNHU is regionally accredited by the New England Commission of Higher Education. That's the highest level of institution accreditation in the United States. Fourth, they're ranked by the U.S. News and World Economic Report among the most innovative schools for online education. Program structure, 120 total credits, approximately three and a half to four years to complete if you're starting from zero. Four courses focus on secure system design and risk management, ethical hacking and adversarial thinking, network defense and incident response, systems thinking and compliance practices, cyber risk analysis and legal frameworks. SNHU's approach combines systems thinking, understanding how technologies interact with adversarial thinking, approaching problems from a hacker's perspective. That's exactly what employers need, understanding how systems work, understanding how hackers think. Faculty and resources. Faculty members are drawn from both academia and industry. The Cybersecurity Center of Excellence organizes competitions and professional workshops. You get access to SNHU's career services, 24 by 7 tech support, and full-time online advisors who help you stay on track. Now, let me tell you what SNHU won't tell you and what the cybersecurity industry doesn't want you to know. A degree alone won't get you hired. SNHU doesn't publish official placement rates, but most online universities don't. But alumni on Reddit and LinkedIn report that the degree alone is not enough. Employers want three things. One, a degree from an accredited program in SNHU checks that box. Two, industry certifications in Count TIA Security Plus and Certified Ethical Hacker in a CISSP for senior roles. Three, practical experience, labs, projects, internships, something that proves you can actually do the work, not just pass exams. What alumni are saying. I found Reddit threads where SNHU cybersecurity graduates talk about their outcomes. One graduate transitioned from desktop support to risk security analyst within a year of completing the degree. Salary, $85,000 a year. Another graduate reached salary levels above $120,000 in a Python and AWS focused cybersecurity role, but they had a security plus, a CY SA plus and AWS certifications on top of the SNHU degree. A third graduate said employers generally recognize SNHU's degrees when paired with certifications, but traditional hiring managers may prefer brick and mortar universities for high security clearance or sensitive government roles. Here's the pattern. SNHU degree plus certifications plus practical labs equals competitive job placement and six-figure earning potential. SNHU degree alone without certifications or experience, you will struggle. Entry-level roles that alumni get. Information security analysts, network and systems administrators, GRC analysts, that's governance, risk, and compliance, IT project managers, SOC analysts, security operations centers. These are the roles that SNHU's graduates are landing, not penetration tester or security architect right out of school. Those are mid-level and senior roles that require experience. The certification path. Here's the certification roadmap that successful SNHU graduates follow. While in school, get a CompTIA Security Plus certification. This is the baseline certification that proves you understand security fundamentals. The cost is $400 for the exam, and study materials are free online. First job, get a CompTIA CYSA Plus or Certified Ethical Hacker. These are analyst level certifications that prove you can detect and respond to threats. Cost $500 to $600 per exam. Three to five years experience, 
get a CISSP, a Certified Information Security System Professional. This is the gold standard certification for management in senior roles. Cost $749 for the exam, but this certification can add $20,000 to $30,000 to your annual salary. Hands-on labs. Here's a weakness that SNHU students consistently mention. The program focuses more on theory than in in-depth practical labs. That means you need to supplement with external hands-on training. Platforms to use? Try Hack Me. Monthly subscription, $10. Beginner-friendly, cybersecurity challenges. Hack the box, free tier available. More advanced penetration testing practice. Cybrary, free and paid resources. Includes hands-on virtual labs. If you enroll in SNHU cybersecurity program, commit to spending 5 to 10 hours per week on these lab platforms. That practical experience is what will get you hired. Let me show you how SNHU compares to other NSA certified online cybersecurity programs. The comparison. Purdue Global, NSA CAE CD certified, 371 per credit, 100% online, strong career counseling, higher graduate volume than SNHU. Maryville University, NSA CAE CD certified, $540 per credit, Online with optional practicums, dedicated advisor, well-ranked but more expensive. Kennesaw State University, NSA, CAE, CD certified, 318 per credit for an in-state students, hybrid and online options, excellent local partnerships in Georgia, high job placement rates. ECPI University, not NSA certified, 460 per credit, online and hybrid, extensive job assistance, smaller academic research focus. Why SNHU wins for most people? SNHU hits the sweet spot. NSA certification, fully online, affordable, regional accredited, generous transfer credit policies. If you live in Georgia, Kennesaw State might be better because of in-state tuition and local employer partnerships. If you want more hands-on practicum options and can afford higher tuition, Maryville might be worth considering. But for working adults who need flexibility, want to keep costs low, and need that NSA certification for federal jobs, SNHU is the strongest option. However, all of these programs require the same thing. You must supplement certifications in hands-on labs. No program will hand you a six-figure job just for showing up to an online class. Let me be very direct about who cybersecurity is right for and who should probably pursue a different path. You should pursue cybersecurity if, one, you enjoy problem solving and puzzles. Cybersecurity is essentially solving problems and puzzles every day. How did the attacker get in? What vulnerability exists? How do we fix it? Two, you can handle stress and pressure. When systems are breached, you're the one who has to respond, sometimes at 2 a.m., sometimes on weekends. Three, you're willing to continuously learn. New threats emerge constantly. New technologies launch frequently. This field requires lifelong learning. Four, you want job security and high pay. The 700,000 open positions aren't going away. AI cannot do this work. Five, you're self-motivated and disciplined. Online education requires you to show up and do the work when nobody's watching. You should not pursue cybersecurity if, one, you hate technical subjects and have no interest in how computers work. This field requires understanding networks, operating systems, and software. Two, you want a passive career where you clock in, clock out, and never think about work. Cybersecurity requires vigilance and on-call availability. Three, you're looking for a quick, easy path to six figures. Yes, the money is good, but it requires certifications, labs, and years of experience. Four, you struggle with online learning. If you need in-person structure and accountability, SNHU's 100% online format will be difficult. The Honest Timeline. Year one, complete foundational courses. Get CompTIA Security Plus certification. Start building your lab skills on TryHackMe. Year two, continue coursework. Get CompTIA CYSA Plus or CEH and build a portfolio of projects that you can show employers. Year three, finish your degree, apply for entry-level SOC analysts or IT security roles. Expect $70,000 to $90,000 starting salary. Year four and five, gain experience. Pursue advanced certifications. Move into mid-level analyst role. Salary $100,000 to $140,000. Year 6 to 10, senior roles. Security architect, penetration tester, or management. Salary $150,000 to $200,000 plus. This is a 5 to 10 year career path to six figures, not a six month boot camp to instant riches. If you are serious about pursuing cybersecurity through SNHUs, here's your exact action plan. Before you enroll, step one. 
take SNHU's free information session. They offer webinars about cybersecurity program, ask questions about transfer credits, financial aid, and program outcomes. Step two, gather your transcripts. If you have prior college credits, military training, or IT certifications, request official transcripts. You might be able to transfer in 30 to 60 or even 90 credits. Step three, calculate your true costs. $330 per credit times however many credits you need after transfers. Look into federal financial aid, employer tuition reimbursement, and SNHU scholarships. Step four, set up a budget for certifications. Plan for $1,500 to $2,000 over four years for the Security Plus, the CYSA Plus, and other certifications. First semester, week one through four, complete orientation. Get familiar with SNHU's online platform. Join the SNHU Cybersecurity Club and online study groups. Month two, start your first courses. Commit to 15 to 20 hours per week for coursework. Month three, sign up for Try Hack Me and start completing beginner cybersecurity challenges five hours per week. Month four, register for CompTIA Security Plus exam. Schedule it for six months out. Use Professor Messer's free videos to study. Year two plan, month 12. Take CompTIA Security Plus exam. This certification proves you understand security fundamentals. Month 15, start building your LinkedIn profile, connect with cybersecurity professionals, and join cybersecurity groups. Month 18, apply for internships or entry-level IT support roles. You need practical experience to supplement your degree. Years 3 through 4, month 24, get CompTIA CYSA Plus or Certified Ethical Hacker Certification. Month 30, build a portfolio. Document your lab projects, capture the flag competitions, and any security assessments that you've done. Month 36, start applying for cybersecurity analyst positions. Target 10 to 20 applications per week. Month 40 to 48, complete your degree, land your first cybersecurity role, negotiate for $75,000 to $90,000 a year. So is cybersecurity worth it in 2025? Let me give you the unfiltered answer. Yes, if you're willing to invest three and a half to four years in education. Yes, if you're willing to spend fifteen hundred to two thousand on certifications. Yes, if you're willing to do five to ten hours per week of hands-on lab practice. Yes, if you're willing to start an entry-level role and work your way up. If you do all of that, cybersecurity offers you twenty-nine percent job growth through twenty thirty-four, median salary of one hundred and twenty-four thousand dollars a year, remote work options. Job security that tech layoffs don't touch. Federal career opportunities with security clearances. A clear path from 70000 to entry level to 200000 plus senior roles. No, if you think the degree alone will get you hired. It won't. No, if you're looking for a quick six-month path to six figures. That doesn't exist. No, if you hate technical subjects and never want to learn new things. This field requires constant learning. No, if you want a passive career with no stress. Cybersecurity involves incident response in high-pressure situations. SNHU specifically, SNHU offers legitimate NSA certified, regionally accredited cybersecurity program at one of the lowest price points in the country. It's best suited for working adults who need flexibility, want to minimize student debt, and are self-motivated enough to supplement with certifications in labs. It's not the best option if you want extensive in-person networking, hands-on campus labs, or prefer traditional brick-and-mortar education. The cybersecurity workforce gap is 700,000 open positions right now. Companies are desperate to find qualified people. The Bureau of Labor Statistics projects 29% job growth through 2034. That's triple the national average. If you want the complete cybersecurity career roadmap, including the exact certifications to get, the hands-on lab platforms to use, the resume templates that get you interviews, and the salary negotiation scripts that get you 10,000 to 20,000 more, I've created the cybersecurity career blueprint inside of the Heights Patreon. Link is in the description. But whether you join or not, if cybersecurity is the path that you want to pursue, start today. Request information from SNHU, calculate your transfer credits, sign up for Try Hack Me, and start learning. The jobs are real. The money is real. The question is, are you willing to do the work to get there? This is Antoine Wade, and keep climbing. We'll see you in the next video.